In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase every single time. When we use the phrase every single time, we're referring to something that happens over and over again. And we add the word single when we talk about it to emphasize it. So you could say things like this, every time my brother borrows the car, he forgets to put gas in it. Or if we wanted to emphasize it, we could say every single time my brother borrows my car, he forgets to put gas in it. You could say this, you could say every time we go to the park, there's too many people there. But if you really wanted to emphasize it, you could say every single time we go to the park, there are too many people there. So when you use the phrase every single time, it's for something that happens repeatedly and when you want to talk about it in a way where you emphasize it. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase, it's time to. Um, this is a phrase that I often say when I'm in the house, I'll say, well, it's time to go outside and make a, a video. It's time to go to work. We use this phrase usually to remind people of something. Parents use this phrase a lot when they're talking to their children. So you might say, it's time to go to bed. Um, it's time to brush your teeth. It's time to go to school. It is probably one of the most common phrases that parents use when they're talking to their children. Uh, it's time for you to get a job. I added for you in there, but sometimes when your kids get older, you say, hey, it's time to get a job. Uh, it's, it's not time to play video games. It's time to get a job. So to repeat, uh, to review, when you say every single time, it's the same as saying every time, but we add the word single just to emphasize what we're saying. And when you start a phrase by saying it's time to, you're simply indicating that right now uh, is the right moment to do something. So it's time to read a comment from a previous video. Did you see how I just used that phrase? Sorry. Some, sometimes I think I'm really, uh, really funny and I'm probably not, but it's time to read a comment from a previous video. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I put it in one of these pockets. Thought it was in my coat pocket. Nope, it's in my back pocket. Here we go. This comment is from June and June says, I tried to memorize the word umpteenth for the umpteenth time, but for some reason it escapes me all the time. And my response was, this is one of the best example sentences based on a previous lesson that I've ever seen. Good work, June. So yesterday's lesson, I taught you the word umpteenth uh, and June has just a great example sentence there of how to use the word umpteenth. I do feel bad though yesterday because I didn't teach the word umpteen. So we have the word umpteen and the word umpteenth. Uh, and here's the difference between the two. I could say that I've done this umpteen times, okay? Or I feel like I'm doing this for the umpteenth time. Do you see the difference there? I can say things like, um, it feels like I've done this for the umpteenth time. That's the word from yesterday. Or I've done this umpteen times. So there are two different words. I should have taught both of them. That would have been a good page flip yesterday if I had taught umpteen and umpteen, umpteenth. Uh, but anyways, at least I had a small chance to explain it to you today. Uh, anyways, thank you so much uh, for watching this little English lesson. Uh, I should think of something to talk about for the last 30 seconds. What should I talk about? I'm home. It's time to go to work. It's almost time to go to work. I'm just trying to use the phrase from earlier. Oh yes, I do need to leave for work in about 10 minutes. So it's time to go to work. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're still enjoying these small lessons. I really like making them. I do want to mention uh, a little um, clarification what, about what I said in yesterday's lesson. I am going to be making four lessons a week starting in January again. Just next week I'm doing three and the week after I'm doing three. Anyways, have a great weekend. See you on Monday.